New this morning, if you're out of work, there's a profession that will hire you right now. Yeah, there's a desperate need for school bus drivers. And Jen followed this during our back to school coverage. She is off the breaking news desk right now to join us in the studio. And Jen, the school districts and the bus companies are both asking for this help right now. They both reached out to me, in fact. And so when this bus supervisor sent me a text just a little bit ago, a couple weeks ago, and said his company is at a critical point, we knew we had to go and check back in. From ads stretching the length of a school bus looking for drivers in the Baldwin Whitehall School District to a front page post on the Bethel Park School District's website. The school bus driver shortage is a huge problem in western Pennsylvania. Districts and bus companies are stretching their current drivers to fill the gaps in getting kids to school on time. We transport the most precious commodity of our communities. John Risch of WL Roenick School Bus Company says some drivers aren't working because of COVID. But that's not the only reason for the driver shortage. People may have a misconception of what it is to be a school bus driver, and they just don't want to deal with it. It's, it's a great job. One that worked for Dorothy Harold back in 1999 when her three kids were young. We have weekends off, holidays off, snow days off. It worked perfect for me. I didn't have to do extra for daycare because my children were in school. Even though they're older now, she's still doing it because she loves the kids on her bus. Really get attached to these children. This is actually considered a 72 passenger bus. On a ride with Dorothy, John told me even with the shortage and some districts mandating strict social distancing on the bus, they're making the routes work and adjusting weekly if they need to. Do you ever find yourself ever being in the situation where you're just going to have to tell the districts, I don't have a driver to take these kids because I don't have a driver? It could happen. Now, John tells me that they are able to plan enough in advance right now with the districts, but he says he is really worried about the future of his profession. He admits that the process of getting a CDL license to drive the bus might be intimidating, but his company has made some plans to get drivers working ASAP during that process. We have all that information for you right now on WPXI.com. Catherine, definitely something to consider, Jen. Thank you so much.